Hey there YouTube, so today I'm going to show you how to get wireless charging on any USB-C device. Let's begin. So the first thing you're going to need is a wireless charging pad and a wireless receiver. And what this wireless charging pad and receiver will do is this wireless charging pad, you all should know about, you should know this if you're going to want to get a wireless charger, is what you need to be able to pass this, the, the wireless charging, the electrons, however it's passed, over to your wireless pad of any sort to the inside, if you can probably see the inside of that. So, your links to those products will be down below. I will link something a little better than what I have here because this isn't the most powerful charging ever and I could probably find something a little better. If I can, I will link it down below. If not, I will link this down below. Now, I did a video on this for the Z Max Pro. Link will be up here. But I wanted to make something for everyone as it's as a ton of USB-C device to still don't have wireless charging like the Pixel, um, just to name one. I think the LG G5, I'm not too sure, I could have probably tested a little bit ago. Now once you have picked up the QR wireless charger or puck and the QR wireless receiver which adds a technology charger port, you can either plug it in and place the pad in the back of the device or if you have a case you'll need to have either have a very thin one, not a thick one like this, and cut a hole in the back of it for the receiver to fit or you will need to have, you just need to have to fit in so there will no be, be no gap like the one that is going to be added once I plug my wireless receiver in. So I will plug that in and then I'll go like this. Now I believe it's straight, yes it's now straight, but if you look there is a little bit of a hump in the back there. Now if I add the rest of the case it does have a little problem where it doesn't fit on all the way without stressing out the wireless charging. I hope you can see that bump. And either you can fit um, by cutting a hole in the middle, which I don't want to do to this case. If I do it to any one of them, I will build it into a case in the near future. I will build it into a case on the back of just back of the case. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually... Now we're going to plug the receiver in. It basically just allows the QI receiver to basically sit in the back of this set. It doesn't even move like this because if you don't want to glue your wireless receiver down, I'm pretty sure you definitely don't want to do that. And it allows for each time with use. And then if you really wanted to, you could just take however you're supposed to pull one of them off. You pull it off, it goes to the side a little bit and then it allows you to plug your own USB-C uh, charger in there to get a little faster charging if you need it like that. Um, so, now once you have completed everything, you can continue on with having wireless fun. So what you're going to do is I have a USB, I have a USB 3.0 device that is plugged in. Now the puck does have red, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Place it down. I think it needs to um, be, there we go, it says 79% and charging. As you can see over here, it says 79% and charging. So, now that we've got that out of the way, where it says 79% and charging, now what we're going to do is we're going to go and power up Ampere. It is an app that is nice because it char it scans how fast your device is charging at. I don't want to read it. Measuring. So the max that this USB current can do is 5.01 milliamps. So if we get anything more than 5, than anything like 5.501 milliamps, 
then we are fine. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug it, plug it back in, power connected. Now I'm going to see what the max current. So voltage is 4.043. Max current still is 5, 501 milliamps, so it's charging at 430, 190. Now this isn't a fast charger, but plugged into the fast charger gives it the fastest speed it can actually charge at. And it's not charging too fast, but for the price I paid for it, I expected this. Oh, yeah. I expected this much. I expected it actually to be a little slower. Surprised it's actually charging at the speed it's charging at. So also put keep in mind it's at 79%, so it is charging a little slower than normal, but I mean it's charging too slower than much slower than normal. So there we go, we have it. That is our wireless charger. So with that being said, now that we have our wireless charger and it's charging and working. Now you can go on and continue with having the wireless fun, either wireless charging or just watching more of my YouTube videos, blah, blah, blah. So now we're just going to pull it out. Now, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are down below in the description. You can send fan mail to the address below in the description. Also my email is in the, in the description if you want to send me some products and you just or you just want to contact me about some more information about some help for your devices and stuff so it's easier to send me screenshots of what you have problems with. My Snapchat code will be in the outro so if you want to follow me there I really don't use it much but if you do want to follow me there you can attempt to scan my snap code. If it doesn't work Tell me and I'll fix my snap code so it works. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.